Hello, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you something different today. This is not a factory reset video. This is basically a this, how to install Windows 10 on a Dell XPS 8300 series desktop computer. Um, basically, uh, you need a couple of things first. You're going to make sure you can find your CD, uh, your your product key on the tower. It is usually located on top of the tower. It's usually like a blue sticker with a bunch of letters and numbers on it. Um, it'll show, uh, right on the screen right here, you can see what it looks like. Um, that's basically what it's going to look like. Uh, if you find that and locate it, you're going to need that. Uh, basically, I recommend you write it down, or you can, if you can read it just fine, that'd be okay. You can rewrite it right off the label. That's one thing you need thing. Another key thing, you're going to need a copy of Windows 10 64-bit on a disk. If you get your hands on a copy of it, like from the Microsoft's website, you can download it from there, and I'll provide a link in below to the description. Okay, so you can get that, and if you know how to burn a copy of it to a uh, disk, you gotta, I'll, probably, I'll probably show a video how to do that too. So, later in my other videos. Okay, basically those two are the two of these things. You need the CD, the product key, the CD. Uh, basically, this is going to be the 60 because it's got it's going to be 64 bit for this because it's got a, we've got at least over four gigs of RAM and stuff like that. So it's for, like if you determine like any other computer on the RAM, a 32 bit, the 64 bit, anything over it's got over three gigs of RAM, you need the 64 bit version of Windows put in here. So, uh, basically, you yeah, got to turn down here on the screen here. Um, put, put the CD in or you shut completely down. So, mind you, this will wipe all information and everything on your computer. Uh, documents, pictures, anything you of importance to you, I recommend you back up before you do this. Of any sorts of, uh, like a factory reset or anything else. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sh uh, go ahead and turn her off, shut her down, completely down. Like I said, make sure the CD is in the ROM before you do this. Or you can do it, but again, make sure you turn off the computer again, or you can beat it to it. All right, back after the first place, shut off. Go ahead after you turn it. First, turn it on. Start tapping F12 on your keyboard. This will take you to the boot options. You want to go ahead and boot from CD, DVD, ROM. You see that there, and go ahead and hit enter. As soon as that pops up, hit any key on the keyboard, doesn't matter which. Let it boot from the CD. Okay, make sure everything is correct, like your language, your time and currency format, and everything else, which I usually normally is default. So go ahead, if you did everything else, go ahead, just click next. And after you get to this, click install now. Okay, this one you see, this is the point where you need the Windows 7 product key. You know, said you'll find it on the tower, top of the tower normally. It's like a bluish sticker. It has a bunch of numbers and letters on it. So, okay, go ahead and start typing in. Okay, if you're done typing in, click next.
Okay, when you get to this screen up here, you want to go ahead and hit the accept the license terms. I'm going to click that, then you want to click next. Then you want to go to custom install only advance. Okay, this is what I'm going to basically any files like your picture, your documents, make sure you back those up. Um, at this point, uh, this will this method will erase your recovery if your recovery is not corrupted. This one had a corrupted recovery on it. I couldn't re factor recovery it. So I'm going to put Windows 10 on it anyway. I was going to put Windows 10 on it anyways. So that's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to wipe, and wipe out the recovery. So you're not going to be able to factory reset it back to Windows 7 after this whatsoever. You have to factory reset it in Windows 10. Basically, you want to delete every partition in here completely out. Go ahead and click each one and hit delete. Delete. Okay. After it's, uh, it says drive zero, you don't like it. Basically, only thing in there now. You want to go ahead and click new, and go ahead and apply, and click OK. It'll create a couple partitions, one for the OS and one for the uh, cache. And if you're all that done, just click next, and it'll start. Okay, when you get to this screen right here, uh, if you have a, net, a Wi Fi network set up, look for your Wi Fi network. Um, okay, it usually it's the strongest strength on the bars most of the time. Um, if not, make sure you get the right correct name. Click, click the net, your, net, your Wi Fi network. Normally, you're going to have a security key that's going to request of you. Normally, it tells you are located on the modem or router. Or if you got a custom one, hopefully you got it written down or you remember it by heart. So go ahead and put your key in. And after you're done with that, enter your key, click next. Okay, go ahead and use the express settings. Click that. Okay, you come to this screen. If you have a Microsoft account, go ahead and sign with it. In sign with it. If you don't, if you want to create one, but if you don't want to do neither of those, just go ahead, go down here, and click Skip this step. 
then you want to put your put your name of your choosing, whatever you want to choose to use, you want to go by on your computer. This will create your local account on the computer itself. Okay, password is not required. You don't need to have a password. If you want, go ahead and put one in. And after you're done with all that, just click next. Okay, uh, the best of one is done installation is done at this point, but you got to make sure a few other things because uh, most installation like this, you're gonna you're gonna have to get drivers. Um, Windows updates might pick them up, then again it might not. Okay, basically, uh, you get to find out what drivers you might need. You want to go down to the start menu down here, click that. You want to click settings. Okay. Then you want to go to devices, click that. Then you want to scroll down the scroll bar here, or use your scroll button in your mouse. And yeah, it's up to you. And you want to click device manager right here. Now, bring up the device manager. And it's going to should show more likely. Yep, see, it's like there's a two devices that need drivers. Now, if Windows Updates does not pick these up for me at all, okay, I'll provide links to these drivers, but in the description, so you can download them yourself. And you most likely you can go to Dell's website and download them yourself. And all you got to do is go to uh, the support product. So like if this definitely needs a video driver. Hopefully the update needs to be picked. The updates will pick it up. Or it looks like they're already picking it up now. Because it's, it's already that one just disappeared. So it's automatically already doing it now for me, as you see. But again, if they can't if it's still after all the updates are done and finished and still the driver has not been found, I will provide a link below. You can go to Dell.com, all you can do is put the, your your uh, service tag in or do an auto detect, do an auto detect your system. They'll find them for you. So, okay, go ahead and close this out. And basically, uh, close this out. Now, you want to go back down to Start Menu again. Go to Settings. Then you want to go to Updates and Security. You want to click that. And go ahead and check for Updates. You want to click that. And there it goes, picked up updates for the system. This might take a moment, so. But that's basically it. I said, that's how you basically install Windows 10. And that's it. If you don't, if it doesn't find the drivers on your updates, I will provide a link for the driver it needs to be put in on, on the description. So, uh, if you find this video helpful, if you got any questions, just leave your comments below and everything else. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and you all have a good day.